Hello, so the goal for this video is to sh walk through the reports that are due at the end of Section 5. So Section 5 reports are going to be, we're going to go to, down to our reports on the left menu. Okay, so the first one that we're going to do is going to be the uh, Accounts Receivable Aging Report. And that's going to be a detail, accounts receivable aging detail report right there. And so for these, we're all going to do, we're going to do custom. This is a report where we are going to pick the end of the, uh, oops, 25, the end of the period that we want to look at, right? So this is going to be uh, the accounts receivable balance balances at the end of this timeline here. So we pull it up here. It looks like that is our report right there. Okay, of course, remember when you're doing these to submit, you're going to want to then go here on the top kind of right of your report and then export the PDF. Uh, something else that's important with all these reports, of course, and this is something you would have done at the beginning is you're going to want to make sure that this is your, indeed, this is your company, right? So you're going to want to have that company uh, set there. All right. And then we're also going to go to the next report, which is going to be the uh, open invoices report, I believe. Yep. So we can go ahead and pack that in. I, I like to do the quick search function there. Uh, again, we're going to do, this is going to be the end of the period that we're doing in 2025 on there. We're going to run the report on that. So that's going to be the one there. Uh, next report that we're going to do is going to be our uh, sales by client summary. Sales by client summary. Uh, this one is going to be, uh, since we're doing revenue or if we're doing revenue expenses, any of the income statement type items, we're going to get the uh, time uh, block that we want, right? So we have to do it at the beginning of the time, which this is January 1st, 2025, all the way to the end, which is March 31st, 2025. Okay. So that's what it looks like. If we wanted, if we want to make it look like the report that's in the uh, student guide, we want to then uh, sort our total descending, right? So that'll flip Indy up on top uh, if we want the descending order. So that's that's what these are going to be for, is to help kind of fine tune that report and how it looks. Uh, we're going to go back again. We got one more report. That's going to be our sales by product service summary. This is going to be the setup the same way where we're going to have January through the end of March. And that's what it looks like there. So those are all of our uh, sales, uh, our services that we um, had our revenue generated off during this that quarter. All right, so hopefully that helps. And we're going to be moving on to section six next. So that should be a fun section. So we'll see you back here.